Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today we will be discussing about configuring and uh, like how, how we can use Istio as an application load balancer. So we'll go through certain points before we jump into how it can be configured and where it can be used. So in today's agenda, we'll be discussing about what is ALB, which is application load balancer. What all the challenges usually we face when we try to use standard application load balancers in our uh, workloads, cluster or, or VMs. Then we'll be discussing about how we can simplify that using Istio and how Istio gateway can be used on an application load balancer that we'll be discussing. So without wasting any time, let's get started. OK, so let's go first thing. What is an application load balancer? So as the name suggests, load balancer. So load balancer is a server or a application which usually distributes the traffic across certain applications, like same set of applications, so that the loads can be distributed and handled equally. So that's the work of load balancer. The application load balancer here is says, the application load balancer works at the level 7, L7 of the OSI model. It means it can read the packets, whatever it is going at level 7, like application level packets it can read and it can take decisions based on that. For example, it can take decisions, it can take, it can take routing decisions based on the host, like from where it is coming, header, what all the content of the header it is there, path, etc. A lot many things are there. Okay, so that's a kind of high level intro or information about application load balancer. Now we'll discuss about what all the challenges usually we face when we try to use directly application load balancer or a standard load balancer. What happens when we use it is with the cluster. That time we start facing the problems. It is good or it is fine when we have our applications in VMs, the standard VMs and all and we can expose one or two applications port outside that that is fine till the time it's fine but when it comes to the kubernetes or modern applications we are using multiple microservices and all that time we face usually challenges what happens in that case usually when we deploy any application into kubernetes cluster we we usually don't try to expose them outside the cluster or when it is exposed it's usually exposed using only one or two certain ports not more than that but in this case what happens as application load balancer usually sits outside of the cluster it is no it is not possible or or it is having no possibility or it is having no control over how to access the internal ports or services so there is direct there is no direct means so it means some there should be something need to be done on top of whatever it is by default to access application load balancer like to access the application for that to through the application uh, by the application load balancer okay so usually what we do either we expose those applications using node port or we need to configure CNIs and in that case also that CNI must support direct access access to ports. If it is not possible, if that CNI is not not allowing you to do direct port access, it's not possible in that case. In so the only one path will be left is the node port. In case of node port, we usually expose all services or whichever services we want to be exposed to the outside. Let's suppose if we are developing a application which is having multiple endpoints, we will end up exposing all the applications via node port and each and every application will have their own individual node port. So you imagine if you have 100 microservices, if you want to expose it outside, then all 100 microservices need to be exposed via node port. And that would cause some issues or maybe it is heavy in setup and all like we need to definitely we need to configure a lot many things for security measures and all we need to take. So that's where it, we, we cannot go to that path. OK, 
people do it but it is it is cumbersome to do all those things and it is not good that we expose all the ports outside of the cluster okay now as we discuss that application load balancer sits outside of the cluster so definitely there are communication channel between application load balancer and the cluster and by default those communication channels are not secured so it means if we are using application load balancer and cluster then we need to secure those channels in between whatever it is happening the communication between lb and cluster it is not secured by default and in certain cases it is very difficult to configure lb with cluster it requires a lot of setup steps and all, all those need to be done and in certain scenarios we might end up creating multiple or using multiple ingress controllers to achieve whatever we want to achieve as as i was mentioning like we need to create node port to access it or to expose it outside the cluster so that lb can access it and if we don't want then we might end up adding another ingress controller so that it exposes whatever it is required and that ingress controller will will connect to lb so in that case we can see like two hops in certain scenarios even we can get okay so i'll try to explain here a bit more how it works so pointer option Done. okay so as we can see this is application load balancer so usually we will be getting traffic from this site entering either http https we can configure and we have rules here we can configure rules which rules it can take like suppose you rule star or products if you are having slash in the path based on the path routing slash products or slash accounts then it will be added to a target group so your target group is same applications multiple instances of the same applications so we can see here if if someone is accessing products so that request will come here which route will check and that request will be forwarded to here so np here node port or here so application load balancer will be distributing the load based on the requirement okay and similarly if we are accessing anything else then again node port a so we can see here like all the applications here getting exposed using node port okay the second point which i was mentioning it is also possible to directly access the port that is that happens with the ip address so but that cni underlying cni must support this path so in that case what happens this this request to accounts it can directly reach to pod okay but the thing is cni support that one otherwise we need to access using node port in this case also that pod will be directly exposed to outside which is not very good idea okay so the, these are the challenges usually we face when we try to use standard load balancer and the reason behind the first thing it is not inside the kubernetes cluster we can see here so whatever it is down here it is kubernetes whatever up it is application load balancer area okay to solve this problem we can solve it easily by using istio so what is istio istio is an service mesh it handles the traffic or it manages the network traffic at l4 and l7 level at the same time it provides the security to all those communications as well out of the box okay so how it can be used here in this scenario as like istio is having lot many features but we will not go into those details in this session we will be discussing only how istio gateway can be used as a application load balancer so that is one of the use case of istio okay so before going to how we can configure that or how we can use how does it look like uh, let's discuss first thing about this benefits of of it so if we are using istio gateway as a load balancer services whatever services we discussed just sometime back like uh, all the services running inside the inside the node cluster and all those need not to be exposed outside the cluster it, it is 
responsibility or it is possible with Istio to configure as a load balancer and the Istio takes care of that, that all the applications are load balanced. All the requests, whatever it's coming, it forwards the request accordingly. And even further, even we can control the load balancing policy at the granular level, like if you want round robin or list request or other, we, we can do it. Okay. Out of the box support for securing traffic. So as this Istio application or, or the deployment, it sits within the cluster and we can configure or by default it is configured like whatever traffic we are getting at, at the ingress at the, at the edge and whatever traffic is getting forwarded to the internal nodes all those are secured by default we need not to worry about that it is out of the box supported very native integration with the kubernetes cluster so it is having very minimal configuration to be done where to make it up and running one more advantage is we can monitor everything within the cluster, all communications, even whatever it's coming from the outside, all those communications can be monitored, configured at only one place using Istio control plane. Auto scaling is also possible here, like when load increases, if, if someone is getting more load at a certain point of time, it can automatically scale the ingress controller or the application gateway so that it can handle more loads and it can even scale down automatically when the loads are low. We can control the load, load balancing policy even at the subset of application level. Like if we want to do some A-B testing, can re-release, etc. We can control those levels of the things using same endpoint exposure. Like we can test it different, different behaviors and there are a lot many more we can do it. With okay, so how does it look like if we use Istio as a load balancer, application load balancer. So what happens usually if we see external traffic when we use Istio gateway at the edge, it creates a network load balancer. So here we can see and that network load balancer, it retributes the load to the nodes. So if we having if you are having five nodes, so all the five nodes will be getting the traffic using this network load balancer. So it's network load balancer. Network from load network load balances, we get the request and all those L7 related processing happens at the gateway we can do. And all those requests can be routed based on the L7 related. Routing rules, we can configure even granular control we can do. Like suppose if subset A, we are having same, same application, but we are having two versions. So, so we are telling subset A, so version A, version B, we can configure in such a way that we can forward certain amount of request to A version A and certain amount of request to subset B. Okay, so at all those those things we can see, we, it's all by default secure. Even we, we can configure our Istio in such a way that it can even talk to external VM services and all. Okay, so that's all for this session. We will be discussing about how to configure Istio Gateway as an application load balancer in our next session. If you have any question at any point of time, feel free to contact us, contact at ims.ai. Thank you.